Hi guys, remember that this YouTube intro is to introduce you to animating shapes, not shape layers. So it's gonna be fun and if you get used to it, it's gonna give you lots of power to animate your motion graphics. So let's start here. Of course, I want to date the app from the beginning, so I'll create a new folder and let's call it YouTube. From here, I will select the folder, press Ctrl I or Command I on the Mac and uh, take the old times video, for example. Now, I could also create a new composition from this video because it's 1280 by 720, but yet I'm gonna uncheck it and click on import only. I will select the video, click and drag and drop it to create new composition. Here you are. So you notice the comp is 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, just like the video. But also you notice that both have been created inside the YouTube folder, which is cool. Now I will lock this video. Now notice here I have two other compositions for the projects. I do not want them here, I want only old times. What you can do here is start clicking on the X for close, but sometimes you will have like 10 or 15 of them, you tried, you did a lot of projects, so you won't, don't want to click on each one of them. The best way is to come to the one that you want to keep open and go to composition, all times, you click on the name and you notice here you have close all times, you close this composition or close them all, including all times. For now, we want to close the others. So you can select close other confuse. Here you are, it's neat like this, you can start working. Let's start adding our shapes. So I press Q and I get a rectangle here. Let's check the feel first of all, it's 100%, that's what we want. That's fine, solid color. And the color is cool, it's not bad. That's cool like this. And we click OK. The stroke for me is not bad, you can come and choose the color that you want here, it's very cool. The stroke 5 is not bad. So I'll click and drag to create the first shape layer. And then this is gonna be the background, try to center it, make it beautiful. Now I want to draw the small square in the middle. For this, make sure you deselect pressing F2. Remember that guys. And then I will click and drag to create the small square. Press Shift, so I have a square. Let's go now to the selection tool and align these. I press shift and select the bottom one, go to the align and align them horizontally and vertically. Let's add some text. I will go Ctrl T or Command T on the Mac. The character panel is open, 25 is too small. Let's make it 50, then we'll see. The rest is cool. Of course, guys, feel free to choose any font you want from here the way you would like. I will stick to this one because it's really practical for the course. Come over here and click to write YouTube. And then Ctrl Enter or Command Enter on the Mac on the main keyboard and click over here and write Channel. Another Ctrl Enter and uh, maybe I will edit and try to move it here. Okay. Now Ctrl Enter again and then come over here and write Welcome. So the Welcome need to be smaller. I will go for the Selection Tool now because I finished uh, adding text, I will make it, for example, 30. Now, let's align the text, put this one here. You can use the arrow keys up and down to be meticulous. The second one, let's align them together. Go to the align and align them vertically. Now, let's uh, rename them. This is the small one. I'm going to call it square. So I know which one is which one. And the other one, I'm going to call it background and BG will do for now. Let's uh, start animating now the shape layer itself. I will go to the big one, that is the background, and you notice we have been animating here the properties for the layer. So now we want to start animating whatever is inside, rectangle one and the transform rectangle one. So you have transformations for the layer and transformation for the shape itself. Okay, look how I explained this before, I hope you remember it, we are selecting here the shape, look at the binding box. Let's scroll down here, you notice you have a couple of new ones, that's skew and skew axis. Come and play with them, they are very nice, you don't need for the lecture to come for you to start playing. First of all, I want to add some roundness, okay? 
So I will come to roundness and put it, for example, at 50. Okay, that's a cool roundness. I will uh, come to the scale and I want to start animating using the scale of the shape. Let's go to one second and something. So we let the video play, then we start the animation from one second. So here we are at 115. You notice this one second and 15. So we start the animation here. We click on the stopwatch and then we go back to one second. Here you are. Okay, you can just type one second here. And then we put the scale to zero. So we're not animating the shape layer. We're animating the shape itself. I want to show you why. Let's take the shape here, the transformation, and let's scale it up. Okay, I will remove the chain link and scale it up. Notice how the roundness is being distorted and the stroke itself is being distorted when you animate through the shape layer. The shape layer content is the shape itself, which is stroke. So when you stretch it, you don't only stretch the fill, but also you are stretching the stroke itself. So it becomes very ugly. So I will undo this and forget about the transform from here and now you have a nice animation okay you can make it even better let's come over here i press k to get to this keyframe and let's keyframe the roundness at zero okay there's nothing wrong with that and then press another k to jump to this keyframe and put back the roundness at 50. so if you notice if you play it it's glowing and the roundness also is glowing what you can do here, a nice animation, is to move the roundness a bit. You can do it now. It starts at a rectangle without the roundness, and then the roundness is added, and it's pretty cool. You notice, guys? Let's animate now the square over here. So the square is here. We go to rectangle 1, and uh, to rectangle path 1, let's give it a small roundness. That is 25. So from transform rectangle 1, we twirl down, we set the rotation to 45 degrees. Okay, so we're going to start from here. So let's go to one second again. That's one second. And we'll keyframe the rotation here at 45. We go to 115. Okay, and we add a rotation. Here you are. I'm going to add a full rotation. Notice nothing has happened. It's like you don't see anything. That's because you have rotated the square a full rotation. So you can't see anything. But if you scrub through, you will notice that it's really going in. So for the small square, we are going also to do the scaling. We go to this keyframe. We go to the scale. Click and make it 100%. Start the animation. Go backward and make it zero. Here you are. So now the animation is very simple. Now, at one second, let's start animating the text. Very simple. We're going to select the text and ensure the anchor point is in the middle. I will select the three of them. Here you are. And press S. Let's close the square and the background. At 115, here you are. We want them at 100%. Notice the anchor point is in the middle because my paragraph was centered. You can change that the way you would like. We go back to one second. Here you are and then make them zero. And then if you play your animation now, not bad at all. Now let's sequence them. I will select all of them, twirl up, then press U to see only the keyframes. Let's take it up a bit. If I play the animation, I notice it's a bit slow. You notice how things are happening. Let's stop the work area and uh, to three seconds, press N. You bring the work area and to the timeline indicator. Let's play it. Okay, that's not bad, but it's a bit slow. Don't you think so, guys? Let's make it faster. I'll select these keyframes and bring them near each other. And also for the big one, okay, make it quite speedy. That's what's happening now. Now let's sequence them. We want the background to start. And just after the background, we want the square, the small square to come in. And with the small square, I want the welcome. So I'm going to click on welcome and drag it. Just put it on top of the square. So I know these two, they go together. So the welcome will come with the small square. Let's look at it. And then these two, let's delay them just a bit. Okay, here you are. What do you think, guys? You like the animation? 
The last step is to add the motion blur. I will select uh, one layer, press Ctrl A to select all of them and twirl them all up. Here you are. Now I can add motion blur to all of them. I just click once and drag it down. Okay. And then if I want to see them here, I have to enable the preview within the composition. Let's press play and see exactly what's happening. Give it time to render. And here you are. Pretty nice animation. Now, the purpose of this lecture and the animation is to introduce you to animate the shapes within the shape layers. So, really, there is no general rule here on which one to animate, the shape layer or the shape. Now, if you animate the shape, you have much more control over the shape layer. So, you can, for example, animate the position in the shape and then animate the position also in the shape layer. So guys, now it's your turn. You go out to After Effects and you start, you know, creating your animation. So thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next lecture on how to reverse an animation.